To start with, let us see how to use VLOOKUP function. VLOOKUP is a lookup and reference function. V stands for vertical. That means the VLOOKUP function can look up vertically in a table or a range which we have defined. There are four arguments in VLOOKUP function. So there are four arguments in VLOOKUP function. They are lookup value that means what we want to search the table or a range and table array that is where we want to search the lookup value should be there in the first column of this table or array and the column index number this defines from which column we should get the result and next one is range lookup that is optional this defines whether we should do exact match or approximate match for approximate match we can we can use true or one for exact match we can use false or zero let us try this vlookup with this example in this example we have the list of employees with employee number employee name and the sales amount achieved by each employees in case if we want to retrieve the information for one particular employee from this table we can use vlookup function here we have employee number 23480 for this employee number we want to get employee name and sales amount to get that we can put vlookup formula vlookup this is the lookup value that is employee number and second argument is table array that is that is the range from where we should search the lookup value and the first column and the lookup value should be always there in the first column of the range or table array which we are defining in the formula therefore employee number is there in the first column we can select the entire table in case if we want to get only the employee name then we can select only these two columns or we can select this also we not make any difference but we should have selected these two columns to get employee name then column index from which column it should bring the information into the results that means employee number is the first column and employee name is the second column so we should get the information from column 2 so column 2 and the optional argument that is whether we have to do approximate match or exact match so in this case we want to do exact match we can put false or we can also put zero and enter so we look a function will search for this employee number in this table and retrieve information from the matching record so matching record is here and it will bring the information from the second column in case if we want to do the approximate match in vlookup formula the table should be sorted on the first column or the lookup column otherwise approximate match formula will give the wrong results the VLOOKUP function will always search and retrieve or give the results for first match. In case if there are multiple matching records in this table, VLOOKUP will look up from the top of the table and it will look up down, downwards and it will match for first record and it will give the results from this row. In this example, we also have 
23480 employee number at the end of this table however we look up will give the first matching record from top to bottom in this example for employee number we have updated the vlookup formula similarly we can also use this vlookup formula to get sales amount that is employee number as lookup value and table then column index number in this case the column index number is 1 2 and 3 and it is exact match we can put 0 so you can see we will get information from this cell in vlookup formula the lookup column should be always first in the table or range which we define and it can look only from left to right it cannot look from right to left in case if we want to retrieve the employee number from employee name in this table vlookup cannot work this is about vlookup function and we can learn more about vlookup approximate function in the other lecture